Welcome to my first video training session. In this session I'm going to teach you how to clone an object that would be base game compatible. If there's enough interest in these sessions, I will continue to record more. Please let me know if you have an interest in a specific thing you'd like to learn, and I'll try to create that for you. First, I want you to go to the menu section of SimPE. I'm assuming you've opened it. It does take a while to load. But we'll go to Extra. Drop that down, and then we want to pick Preferences. It's going to be opening another box. And where we want to select File Table, which is the fourth option down right here. Well, what we need to do here is to untick all except include SimPE and include Original. If you happen to have one of the stories installed, you can tick that and it will automatically untick everything for you. It's a little bit of a time saver rather than having to individually untick each thing. But the important thing is that we need to have include CEP and include original only ticked. But all the rest need to be unticked. Now we're going to go over here to the reload button and click reload. This is going to take a little while to reload. And once it's done we'll click the OK button here. There. Once it's grayed out, it's done. So I'm clicking OK. And then what we need to do is find your object workshop. Mine is located here. Yours may be located over here. And if you're having problems finding it, you can always go to Tools, Object Creation, and then Object Workshop here. Or use the Control shift w shortcut. Okay, now I want you to click Start and it's going to take a while to load the objects depending on your system and how many items you have in your download directory. But what I'm going to do once it loads is clone the 12th century dynasty vase which is found under decorative sculptures. It's one of my favorite sculptures to clone. should be coming up here pretty soon. There we go. Now see the little plus sign here next to decorative? We need to click on that and then find sculptures and click on that. And 12th century dynasty sculpture is here. Usually you'll have little icons. For some reason mine are missing. And then we're going to want to click next here. And make sure this taskbar says clone. The only two options are recolor and clone. So I'll be sure you have that ticked. And next, I want you to pay special attention to these items that are ticked. The first option sets it to be a custom created item. If all of these items are unticked, you would create an exact duplicate of the EA Maxis creation. And these three are kind of self explanatory or essentially just necessary to have anytime you're going to create a custom object. To create a standalone object, you'd almost always want this ticked. The only time you might not is if you want to create bedding that pulls the textures for the Maxis items. And pull only default colors, you're going to want that ticked. Unless you want to pull all of the colors that Max is created for that particular object. Pull wall masks. We would use that only if we were going to be cloning a window or a door, something that changes the walls in the game. Pull animations. You'd almost never tick that. The only time you would is if you've learned how to manipulate the Max's animations yourself by manually editing them or you wanted to replace one. But in most cases it's easier just to go to the files and get the animations out. This is only be pulling the animations for that object. 
pull string linked resources. I can't think of a reason why you wouldn't want that ticked. If there is one, I'm not aware of it. Reference original mesh, you would want that unticked. And the only time you would use that is if you're going to be creating an object mod or something that you didn't want any changes made to the original mesh by EA. Change description, you can have that tick now or it's very easy to fix that within the package. But let's just tick it for now. Now you can either click next here or the start option. And here we're going to change the description. Let's just call it test object. And you could change your price here and add a description. For now, I'm just going to use by Rebecca. And then you want to click the finish button right here. Okay, now for the model name. This is where you're going to name your model something. You can either remove everything that it gives you as an auto-generated. If you do, be careful to not use special characters and don't ever use spaces or it will render your object unusable. I'm just going to call it test item or test object. If you didn't make a change to this, you wouldn't need to click update, but because I have, I need to update these. And if you hadn't, you could just click OK, but now we're going to click OK. And now we want to save it to our download directory. And let's just call it... I usually use my name so that people easily know it was created by me. And I think that's a good practice to use. I've seen several other creators do this too. And once you've named it, click Save. Okay, and then we're going to need to go to the plugin view. It should be either on the bottom or may also be on the right hand side depending on your setup. Now, for some reason raw data no longer refreshes when you open this so you had to click catalog sort and then click the raw data tab again and it will show you the information here. In the hexadecimal form the last letter B tells you that it is a base game item if there was a C here, that would mean it required one of the expansion packs. To my knowledge, there's no way of telling which expansion pack from this. It's just the B is definitely a base game item. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is register our object. So you have to click the Get GUID number. And if you're not registered as a user, you need to click this and set up your registration. But because I'm already registered, I need to enter my information. Which it will save after a while, but I wanted to show you that option, so I took my information out. Okay, I'm going to register the object, which will give me a new GUI ID. I need to check the update all mats, then click update and save my file. 